Have you ever noticed how mediums uh, use abstract information when they are reading a person? It's never specific. Um, you know, one at one point when I saw um, when I saw Tyler Henry reading Matt Lauer. I could see that Matt Lauer was, first of all, he was already emotional before he even sat down with this guy. But you could tell that Matt Lauer wanted to believe. So that's the first step already. He wanted to believe. So that's basically most of the job is done already when somebody wants to believe something. And so then you have someone that comes along like, uh, Tyler Henry, that, um, you know, he, he he comes across in a way that's uh, where he's this squeaky clean, innocent person, you know, um, and that, you know, he's got nothing to hide or, but you need to understand this, people, that if you slow the film down, if you slow down you'll notice that when Matt Lauer um, acknowledges that he believes what this person's saying to him, you could almost see uh, Tyler Henry's expression, fooled another one. I fooled another one. You can actually see it on his content. You can see it, you can feel it, that sense of, if he only knew, you know, if he only knew. I'll tell you right now, just from this, the little bit that I have watched, this Tyler Henry, he is as crooked, as deceitful, as uh, just despicable as any human being could be. And if the people that he's reading knew it, right, he'd be hated by everybody. But the reason why they love him so much is because they believe what he's saying. If they found out that he didn't really know what he was talking about or they found out that he had done some previous research on that person, um, you know, but I'll tell you, People, the Bible says many shall believe a lie. And right in the word believe is the word lie. Um, people are looking for hope. And so I know that like all these other mediums out there, that Tyler Henry is offering false hope. And... He works on the emotions of people. He talks about things. Oh, you always notice that a medium will always deal with emotional subjects. Always. It's always emotional. Either has to do with death or it has to do with a marriage. has to do with something that's emotional. Why is that? Because they're trying to tap into your most vulnerable spot. They're trying to work on your weakness, okay? And if you notice, Matt Lauer, I didn't even know that Matt Lauer was such a, you know, such a marshmallow, but he is. I mean, he is such a marshmallow. And he comes across on this TV show like he's this real together person. But when you watch him, like, putty in the hands of this little 19 or 20-year-old uh, queer that's a homosexual um a medium, uh, you can just see, like, Matt Lauer becomes like a girl. I mean, he just totally, completely, like, silly putty in the hands of this guy. And this is supposed to be a man, right? And he just turns into this total, complete, you know, emotional wreck. You could see it. He was holding back his tears. 
he said when he got home, he says not on the show, but when he got home, he says he bawled his eyes out. See, because even, uh, um, even as Tyler Henry says, he says it's a healing process. It's a process and it's a healing. That's why people go to tears and whatnot. So what he's really saying is, I'm working on your hurt. I'm working with your hurt. So they tap into you. Can you imagine being that despicable? That they go around tapping into people's deepest hurts, bringing up things that are emotional and hurtful, right? Only to deceive them into believing that he's actually speaking to their loved one. That he's actually getting... Now, this is where it gets really dangerous is that he's offering people false hope, okay, and making them believe that even those that live the most wicked lives on this earth are talking through him. So therefore, he's giving people the sense or the idea that, like Michael Jackson or you know somebody that we know did not go to heaven, uh, that they are okay. And there are mediums out right now, out there right now, you know, channeling like Tupac and uh, people that are very wicked people and, and saying that they're, you know, like, I know without any shadow of a doubt that Robin Williams is not in heaven. But yet when they channel Robin Williams, he's talking like uh, he's, you know, like he's not, um, he's not dead, and um, like he's happy, and he's different than he used to be, and he talks like he's from another world now. Well, listen, people. It's trickery, but it wor- it's through the emotions. They work on your emotions. That's how they do it. And you'll ever notice anybody that's being read, they always get emotional. They always start crying. It's always an emotional thing. So don't be deceived, okay? Um, I, I just think that Tyler Henry is one of the most despicable young people on the earth. He is as filthy, as despicable as any human being could be. And yet... And yet, he is being uh, almost worshipped. He's almost uh, known, well, he he is. He calls himself the go-to person, uh, go-to medium of Hollywood. He's getting filthy rich. Uh, I already mentioned to you, he's a homosexual. Um, And... The people that he reads are already, uh, you know, they already want to believe. They hear about other people being read. Um, They see it on television, other people being read, and they just can't wait to get before him because they think he's some kind of miracle worker. They think he's some kind of gifted person. And yet, if they could only know who he really is, that filthy act that he commits with that other uh, male person that he's with, that's not as filthy as he can be. I mean, can you imagine somebody that would work on somebody, on their emotions, on their most, you know, their most you know, concealed secrets of their hearts, things that are deep in the people's hearts, like a, losing a dad or losing a mom. I mean, to, to go to Matt Lauer and talk about his dad in such a disrespectful manner. You say, well, Brother Joseph, he wasn't disrespectful. He was disrespectful in the fact that he knows he is tricking Matt Lauer. He knows he is. He knows 
that it's all trickery. He knows it's a sham. He knows it's a scam. And it just shows you how despicable he really is. Now, that doesn't mean that familiar spirits don't operate with these mediums and that they give them clues and they give them words, like bring a word to their mind or something, and then they play on that word. That's how it works. Um, a familiar spirit won't come and like tell you a whole, you know, perfect information. No, they give you, f- they feed you like a thought. You know, that's the same way the Lord works with me. Jesus will give me a thought, the Holy Spirit will give me a thought, and then I've got to study it out or uh, seek the Lord to find out more. But with them, they'll take one thought and then they'll cherry pick after they get that one thought from that demon. After they get that one thought, it might be, a, the demon might say in one instance, um, Fred, like they did this, I forgot her name, but this woman that had lost her dog. And he says, do you know anybody named Fred? And um, so here he is holding the bow tie that used to be on the dog Fred. And the demon comes by and gives him the name Fred. Okay. Or he just read it in the news or read it in something about how her dog died. I don't know. But I do know that they can get information from demons. And so he gets that thought, Fred, and he looks at her and he says, do you know someone Fred? He's already tapping into her emotions. That dog died two days ago. Are you listening? And it's not, and it's not the medium that they're falling in love with or the medium that they really like or they think he's magical. It's the feeling of the connection they have with that loved one. Do you see what's happening here, people? The feeling that comes to them when they think about that loved one that they miss. They think that that feeling is coming from that medium, and it's not. It's total, complete deception. It's lies. It's deception. Does the devil have real power? Oh, absolutely. The Bible says he's going to use lying signs and wonders in these last days. But a lot of these mediums are nothing but charlatans. They are liars. They are deceivers. And I can see it right in his countenance. I can see it in his actions that this 19 or 20 year old uh, Tyler Henry is nothing but a despicable, uh, I can't even call him a human being, despicable. How can people believe in someone like him? Oh, he's so clean cut. He looks so innocent. Oh, he seems so nice. Look out. Look out. Underneath that kind, gentle, uh, clean-cut look is a beast. A beast that sleeps with other men. Filthy, despicable. He should be ashamed of himself. But this is the type of individual that can look people right in the face like he's their friend. And then you see him behind bars and he looks at you as the criminal he is. Just as cold and calculated. And that's who he is. That's who Tyler is.